In this presentation, we're going to look at warehouse optimization for Microsoft Dynamics NAV created by Match Business Solutions. We'll look at how we reduce the number of steps, the customer service one-stop screen, stock count enhancements, and additional activity stacks. So first, let's go to an existing purchase order. And if we release it, directly the warehouse received has been created. So that has been done automatically instead of going and create a warehouse receipt manually. Same thing apply on the sales order. So in the same way when we release a sales order the warehouse shipment can be created automatically instead of doing create warehouse shipment and it is released as well okay so two steps quicker and this part is controlled by a setup so it is not mandatory on the WMS optimization we can decide is the warehouse receipt get created automatically or not or by night by the job scheduler so, and by indicating a number of days so just for example if we set that up to never to see what is a standard process in NAV and we'll do that from the sales order okay oops okay we don't have any so the normal process is first to release the document and after we would have to create warehouse shipment and then to release it so it's a bit long okay so that could be created also overnight with the uh, job queue where we decide the number of days depending on the receipt or the shipment. Some quick ways also to change a bin or a unit. So from the bin content we have a quick screen to do that. We change just that item from one bin to another with a simple screen. Oops. and now it's in another bin you can also change uh, the unit of measure so here we've got these 20 pieces that are going to be converted into boxes Oops. okay For so the same applies for items that are lot tracked. So he's in the standard NAV 2013. We've got something with lot number by bins, but it doesn't show up the unit of measure. So in that screen, in addition that we have added, you have the detail not only by lot bin but unit. And in the same way, we can change the bin, change the unit easily. And 
and you can also change the lot or the serial number easily so let's say there was a mistake and two of the Q9 are actually uh, Q10 so a simple screen and it's done So that's a quicker process instead of using the standard normal uh, process that is first you go to the movement worksheet. You by indicating the item, the bin, the unit, then we create the movement and we go on the movement and select it and register it so much faster to do it in a simple screen as we saw before now let's look at customer service one-stop screen which is some refinement on the peak worksheet so the normal process on the peak worksheet is first you get your warehouse document and if you look at the standard, it populates the quantity to handle. But in that case, we've got two of the same item. And now has made a decision to deliver one customer and not another. So first, instead of doing that, we could set the quantity by default quantity to handle to be zero. Okay, so it's not populated. Here we have added some color coding to see which order are ready to go because they can be fulfilled fully. So no problem at all with that with these orders. So let's delete the quantity to handle and you can select also some lines and use the selected lines autofill so everything that is green has no delivery issue so we could simply create a pick for that you could delete unavailable lines where it's a zero you you don't have any stock so if you don't want to see them so let's go back one more time and we have added some additional sorting so for but let's use the one with items so if we look at the item 1200 we have 64 in stock but one, one customer one ten, another one sixty, so we short by six. You can see on that screen also if there are some comments, some notes. So it, the notes was on the sales order, but it appears on this screen. So let's say we decide to deliver this customer, the so sixty and not instead of the other customer the objective is to give the customer service a comprehensive view of deliveries and bottlenecks so that they make informed decision now let's look at stock count enhancements So in the warehouse inventory, physical inventory journal, or if you use directed put away, warehouse physical inventory journal. So let's make a quick example on one or two items and see what we have added. 
Okay. So let's put some physical inventory. Drawn. So counted. Let's make a few differences. Okay. What we can't do in standard uh, nav is to add a line. That is, if we counted something that is not in the expected, nav doesn't allow you to uh, add that in that journal. So we have added a simple page to do that. And the lines now is added with a zero quantity calculated and a quantity physically counted. On the print as well, so let's look at the standard print so we can show quantity calculated, but we don't show the quantity physically counted. However, so it could be good to show that, especially when we make um, a super count. So in that case, we have a tick box to show the physically counted and when there is only differences. Now let's go back to the WMS optimization and you can see auto adjust warehouse entries to GL. So what it does is when you, you register a warehouse physical inventory journal. Oops, just at the end you see that little screen. So it spare you the task of going into the item journal and do a calculate warehouse adjustment to put the item ledger entries in sync with the warehouse entries. So that's, you don't have to do that in the physical and in the item, warehouse item journal. Additional activity stacks. So on your home page, you see the stacks. That's uh, things that you need to review. So we have added some, a good deal of activity stacks. So pick in progress, for example, this one is picked, not shipped. If we go now, if we drill down, you can see that on the warehouse shipment, there is a quantity picked, but not a quantity shipped. So that needs to be shipped. Shipped, not invoiced. So if we drill down on the sales order, we'll see one shipped, but nothing invoiced. So that, did, that needs to be invoiced. Late sales orders. So depending on the promise delivery date. So I'm not going to review all of them because there are heaps for inward goods, transfer order, bins, and so on and so on. That can be filtered also by location. If I, if we set up in the user setup some locations. So for myself, I indicate that I normally just work on these uh, three locations and I go back to my home screen. My stacks have been filtered. Okay. So these stacks that we've prepared are so there are new stacks prepared and to activate them we just need to plug that in the activities of the specific roles so this one so that's another view of some enhancements we ship out of the box with match essentials